Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am here again to talk about chapter 1 matter, lesson 5, concentration measurements. So we're going to learn 5 of them. Let's go. Okay. The 5 concentration measurements that we are going to learn today is molarity, molality, mole fraction, percentage by mass, and finally, percentage by volume. The first thing that you need to know is the definition of solution. Solute and solvent. What is a solution? Solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. So you mix the solute and solvent together to have a solution. What is solute? Solute are the substance present in a smaller amount. If you have a coffee, then the coffee powder is the solute, the hot water is the solvent, and the solution is called coffee. Mm. And what about solvent? Yeah, solvent is a substance that is present in the larger amount. In Malay, we call pelarut. So you have to know the difference between solution, larutan, solute, bahan larut, and finally, solvent, pelarut. Okay, good. So this is an example of a solution being made. In the spoon is sugar. It's a solute. And then water is already in the glass. That is the solvent because the quantity is a lot compared to sugar. And combined together, they are called solution. So this is the sugar water which you will make before you pour in your cordial, right? Mm, nice. So what is the basis for um, starting to measure the concentration of a solution? We are always dealing with mixtures because it's a solution whereby you have solute, whether it's in the form of gas, liquid or solid as a homogeneous mixture. Basically, you are going to get the concentration of the solution by uh, trying to define the content of the solute in a given quantity of solution or solvent. So you need to have the quantity of solute and also you need to have the quantity of either solvent or solution. So let's go on further. The concentration unit that we're going to learn today is molarity. I'm sure you have learned that last year. And then molality. Now, this is new. The capital M is for molarity, but the M for molality is a small case. And then we are going to learn about mole fraction. Uh, next, about percentage by mass. And also, the fifth one is percentage by volume. Molarity is defined as the number of moles of solute dissolved in one liter or decimeter of solution. So, solute in solution. The unit can be mole per liter or mole per dm cube or capital M. This unit of concentration is also known as the amount of concentration C. So if you can uh, see 
here the uh, the small kc sometimes is used to represent molarity it is important here to note that 1 dm cube equals to a thousand centimeter cube this is equals to one liter ah i've mentioned this somewhere in lesson two or three the formula that you have to remember i'm sure you have remembered this uh, molarity is equals to mole over solute divided by the volume of solution the solution is in the unit liter or decimeter cube okay الآن افتح في هذا الصفحة صفحة أحد وثلاثون example 1.7 calculate the molarity of a solution for 1.71 grams of sucrose the molecular formula is given there dissolve in a 0.5 liters of water Firstly, you need to find the molar mass. We got 342 grams per mole. So next, we are going to find the number of mole for sucrose. Use the molar mass. 1.71 divided by 342, we got 0 0.005. And then we find the molarity by using the formula given previously. 0.005 moles of sucrose divided by the solution given 0.5 liters. You got 0.01 mole per liter. Al-As'al-Usani. How many grams of potassium dichromate K2Cr2O7 is required to prepare a solution of 250 ml with 2.16 molar? So, you are given the molarity but you have to find the mass. Firstly, you find the molar mass of potassium dichromate. We got 294.2 grams per mole. Firstly, you need to find the number of moles for the solute. So, you use the formula N equals to MV, whereby M is the molarity given in the question 2.16 multiplied by the volume of the solution 0.25 liters. When we get this 0.54, we multiply them with the molar mass of potassium dichromate, with we, which we have uh, calculated previously, and we got the final answer 158.868. For this question, you will get two marks. Molality is the number of solute per one kilogram of solvent. The unit used is mole per kilogram or m, small case. The molality of a solution is equal to the number of moles of solute contained in one kilogram of solvent. So the formula that we're going to use is mole of solute in unit mole divided by mass of solvent in unit kilogram. So here we have to remember that the solution is equals to the solute plus solvent uh, in the terms of mass. And if the question gives you the volume of solution, it is not the same as the volume of solvent. You have to deduct the mass of solute from the solution. Example 1.8, question 1. Calculate the molality of sulfuric acid solution containing 24.4 grams of sulfuric acid in 198 grams of water. So you need to find the number of mole of the solute. The solute is sulfuric acid 
So 24.4 divided by the molar mass of the sulfuric acid. This one I got from the internet. So you might get a different answer because you're using the yellow page. So we get 0 0.2488 moles. And this number of mole will be divided with the mass of solvent given, which is 0 0.198 kilograms. Remember to convert the unit from grams to kilograms. And then we'll get the final answer, 1.26 molal. What is the molal concentration of a solution prepared by dissolving 0.3 moles of copper chloride in 40 moles of water? Huh, it's not in the unit of kilogram. We need to convert the mole into mass for the solvent. This is tricky. How are we going to do this? Firstly, we need to calculate the mass of solvent by multiplying the number of mole of water 40 with 18. So we get 720.8 grams, which will be converted into the unit of kilogram afterwards. And then we write down the formula for molality and the mole of solute 0 0.3 moles given in the question divide by the mass of solvent which we have calculated previously and we got a final answer 0 0.416 molal. Mole fraction